What it do, it's your boy Show BZ, the S H O B O A T main plugged in podcast is in here. I got my boy Vegas Cool in this thing with me. You know what I'm saying? And we about to get into some things. There's just a lot going on right now. We're going to talk about all this stuff going on and see what's really cracking so y'all can feel where we're coming from. You dig? You seen Nori was doing an inter- interview on Breakfast Club, I believe. He was talking to Charlemagne the Guy, right? Okay. And he said that. Big rumor that uh, Future is not too happy uh, this Drake and 21 Savage album. Because just, Future and Drake did an album before. And it Correct. makes Drake and Future album not as important, I, I would say. That's what he feels. Mm-hmm. And that's, uh, I mean, this is, this is allegedly, this is all rumors. I never heard it from Future's mouth, never heard it from Drake, never heard it from 21. Because he said that it takes attention off of What a Time to Be Alive Part 2 that they were supposed to have been coming out with. Because I think it's been... It might have been a year now that they've been talking about that album is done and they just haven't put it out yet. Mm-hmm. So I, I kind of feel if it's true, let me just give a disclaimer. If that's true, I kind of feel where he's coming from because 21 Savage from Atlanta, Future from Atlanta, and they both got these projects with Drake. Mm-hmm. Technically, me as a as a music consumer, as a fan. I've been waiting for the What a Time to Be Alive Part 2 to come out because that's what Drake started teasing first. Mm-hmm. And then out of nowhere, we hear we find out that this 21 Savage album is coming out. Mm-hmm. So I kind of feel what he's saying. And with them kind of being uh, future and 21 Savage is two completely different artists, in my opinion. I agree. You know what I'm saying? Like where 21 Savage is a more gangster, like super gangster type of shit, You know what I'm saying? Whereas future is more versatile like a Drake. Drake, future gonna sing to you he gonna rap to you you know what i'm saying he gonna talk about street he gonna talk about street stuff he gonna talk about club stuff he gonna talk about girls you feel me mm-hmm. so I, I feel like future is a more versatile rapper than 21 savage but the fact that they both from atlanta and have a similar fan base because you know some of the people the a lot of people that listen to 21 savage also listen to the future right a lot of people right, listen to right. future also listen to 21 savage you feel me so I kind of feel where you're coming from. What you think about that? Do you think that's a, if, if that's true, do you think that's a, a valid reason for Future to be upset at Drake? I could see both ends. I could see Drake, you know, kind of wanting to go a little bit more hardcore compared to, you know, being with Future is more on his level, mm-hmm, more mm-hmm. on the, you know, the female vibe, yeah, so yeah. to speak. So right. I could see both ways. I know he, I noticed he wanted to try something different. And like I said, get hardcore, try to get, get in touch with his inner gangster, I, yeah. I guess, you know, because you know, I know this yeah. not drink be, you know, he want to make love to you and then he want to fight you. Yeah, you oh, know, he, he going to he gonna bounce around, but, Yeah, he going to bounce around. But you got to give him his props, though, because, exactly. because I will say Future and Drake are probably the two most versatile rappers that we got out right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Drake, agree, Drake agree. is number one most versatile, and I'd probably say... Future number two, and I say like a Tory Lane is number three. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Because they can they can do it all. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. But I I just really, if I'm Future, I would be upset. You know what I'm saying? Especially if there wasn't a conversation that was had first. Like if Drake didn't hit him, be like, hey, bro, like, hey, just to let you know, you know what I'm saying? Me and Twenty One about to do this album. Woo woo. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. because now all of a sudden that that album. Drake and 21 Savage, that album came out in November. Right. And they about to go on tour. So that means the What a Time to Be Alive Part 2 with Future ain't coming out in 2023. Yeah, it's agree. automatically pushed to 2024 as the soonest that it could come out. You right. feel me? And so I, I, would feel a, I would feel a sort of way about that if, yeah. if you didn't get no heads up on it. As far as a business standpoint, absolutely. Yeah, that's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what absolutely. I'm saying. So. Because I, I, I truly honestly believe that Future is Drake's best collaborator when they, when they get I, together I agree. they don't miss that was amazing they yeah. don't miss that bro. was amazing i'm surprised it actually even happened between yeah two. yeah because they were so yeah. compatible and you know and it was it was it was it was it was all that, the shame that album i still get that what a time to be alive that that still gets spins yeah. from me yeah, you feel absolutely. me it's on my day because it's, 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 my it's day. a it's a vibe mm-hmm. when it, when i want to throw on something slow if you hang with if you hang with a chick bro and you want something slow, just going to kind of set the mood. You know what I'm saying? It's a vibe. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm going to throw that on. And they got one of the best strip club dance songs. Come on, you know, bro. Diamonds dancing. Come That's, on, bro. All that. strip club, you winning. You yeah. throwing you throwing everything you got out on that. Come you on, know? bro. Because so, they, they getting wild. They getting Come crazy. On. Come on. So, yeah, I totally agree on that shit.